Hello everyone, today's video is to address some concerns with Granny's Country Candles. And I did make a video a few weeks ago asking people to comment please, or if they don't feel comfortable leaving a comment, to message me. I also did the same thing on my Facebook page. And I did not really get any response. So please, I know a lot of people don't want to cause problems, and you're not going to cause problems whatsoever. You're not. I'm not here to cause problems. I just want feedback, honest feedback on what's going on with the products that you have purchased from Granny's Country Candles because I have been talking with the owner, and she's trying to correct it. If you don't let the owner know or the person that you purchased from know, then they're not going to be able to correct the problem or see if they, it can be corrected. So I have to say with customer service with Gray's Country Candles, Wendy's, it, Wendy is amazing. She's right on top of things, and she's trying to fix things. Now, from what I'm gathering from my experience is it's the scents of the month that really are not having a great scent throw. There is some that do have a good scent throw. Others, there's like nothing to them when you go to melt them. I don't know if this is the same issue with everybody else. Yes, I know there's going to be an occasional scent or a few, with companies, when they have over 200 cents, there is going to be, you know, many that do not have a strong scent, though, because they try to please everybody. People who like a softer scent and people who like a strong scent. That's with any company. You know, they're not all going to be in your face strong because not everybody likes that type of scent. They like just a softer scent. So with that in mind, that's not what I'm talking about. I know some people get the occasional dud as well where they go to put a tie in and they get absolutely nothing. So I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about if you've placed an order like, with the scents of the month, and you have tried to pop two, three tarts in, and you're not getting a scent. I mean, one tart, uh, I, I like to go with one tart. I feel if you don't get a scent with one tart, eh, you know, that's me. But a lot of people put two tarts in. And I've been finding that I've had to try to do that with some of Granny's and still nothing. So if you've placed an order with Granny's Country Candles and you're not happy for whatever reason, please comment below. Let me know what the issue was. Nobody's going to bash you about it. I'm not going to get upset or offended. I am I am sorry if, for all the people that have placed orders and they did not get any scent out of their products. That's what, I mean, I feel bad, so I don't want anybody else to feel bad. I'm the one that feels bad, and I didn't even make the tarts. Here I'm recommending a company to people, and, of course, I, I'm honest. I have to say, when I first started purchasing Granny's Country Candles, I didn't just purchase the scents of the month. I purchased other scents. And I really liked them. I had one dud for a candle. It was very soft. Some people like that. Not me. Not that soft. But then I had another. I've had a couple of candles that will, like, knock your socks off strong. And I was impressed by that. And the tarts, I enjoyed. They work better in a low watt warmer not a 24-watt because they are soy. Most, I, would, I wouldn't recommend a 24-watt for soy tarts anyways. I would recommend more of a light bulb warmer, a 14-watt, maybe a 17-watt or something, but no 24-watt. That's just going to suck the life out of the scent. So when I first tried her products, I was blown away. I loved them. They smelled amazing. I had no problems with them whatsoever. And then I noticed, you know, the following month, I got some duds. And then the next month, I got it was mostly the scents of the month. I was finding that they were not having any scent throw. And the first month, I got a little concerned. I'm like, well, maybe it's just me. But nobody's really getting back to me. I, you know, I watch videos here and there. I can't find them all. You have to you have to com you have to leave a comment below for me to let me know that you did a review, put it in your weekly mail to something so I can go and watch them because I don't know everybody that, that has purchased Granny Country's candles. I don't know everybody who has a YouTube channel that has purchased Granny's Country candles. So I, I need to know that. So that's what I'm asking for. I'm asking for help as well. Let me know that you've ordered products. If you don't feel comfortable put leaving a comment down below, send me a message. Let me know what happened to you. Let me know your concerns and all that. I do know there was a girl who left a message on my Facebook page saying that she didn't get any scent out of her tarts and she wasn't going to place an order anymore. And I asked her to please contact me because I told Wendy and Wendy had a surprise for her. But 
She has not gotten back to me. So check my Facebook page if anybody has left a comment on there because I do have a surprise for you, a good one, if you get back to me. Okay, so I'm done with that. You you pretty much know where I'm going with this. If you've had a problem, contact me. Comment it below. Comment below. Let me know. Was it all your charts? How you know? Just wherever. It doesn't matter. Just let me know. Be honest. That's all I've ever asked is for honesty. Don't feel guilty. You've used your hard-earned money to place place an order with Grady's. The product should be to your liking. Now, what I'm going to tell you is the pumpkin scents and the coffee scents, I'll have to let you know. I'm going to show you a lot of the duds. The pumpkin cinnamon latte, two cubes, nothing. Pumpkin crunch dessert, this I used two cubes. I used one in Scentsy plug-in in my bathroom, and I did get a scent throw. And then I used it in my high watt warmer just to check it out and no scent throw. So... This worked better in a low watt warmer, but it wasn't a strong scent. Frosted pumpkin cookie, two tarts, nothing, and I gave up. I wasn't even going to throw three. I did not get anything out of that. Pumpkin apple butter, two tarts, no scent. Sassy snickerdoodle latte. I used two cubes in a 24 watt warmer. I know I should learn my lesson too, but I don't have low watt warmers all over my house. And I figure if it's in my office, which is a smaller room, I should get some kind of a center, which I usually do, but I didn't. However, when I put this one in, mix, I mix this in with another scent in my party light warmer and I could smell the snickerdoodle latte. It smelled good. But in the high watt warmer, it was not. Pumpkin caramel cake, I only put one, and I didn't even try to put any more, and I got no scent. And this was in my party light warmer, which are low watt warmers. I know there's probably more I can't find them, but those ones I have not had any luck with. Now, as far as the candles, the frosted pumpkin cookie, I get nothing. I have melted. I spent a day melting this, and I could not smell it. I could barely smell it now. So this was a dud. Yesterday, I tried pumpkin spice latte. I melted it for probably an hour, and I wasn't getting anything. So, And you, as you can see, I didn't even wait for an even pool of wax and nothing. Even when I smell it, I don't smell anything. <clears throat> so those ones, they were dead. Now, Toasty Ghosty, which is not a scent of the month, it smells amazing on cold throw. Oh, my gosh, it smells absolutely amazing. It's such a creamy, vanilla -y marshmallow. However, when I lit it, it took a while. I mean, I had to light this down for a while before I got a light scent. So, Toasty Ghosty is a very light marshmallow scent. And Wendy knows this. This is not a dud. It's a very lighter scent. It's a very popular one that she sells in stores. It goes off the shelves all the time. People love it. So, I don't know if they're using it as just for a light scent or if they're mixing it with other things or what, but I had this going in my bedroom, and it took about two hours, and then I started to get a scento. It was a light scento, but it, I got a scento, and it smelled good, but I just wanted to let you know that Toasty Ghosty is a light scent, and Wendy knows that. That's not a dud. Okay, so wh I want to talk about the ones that mostly the scents of the month. Wendy changed the way she's making her scent of the month. She was purchasing from a manufacturer with that certain scent, like, you know, she would get the scent and pump, pumpkin caramel cake is what I'm getting at. It would come, you know, in that oil all mixed together and she would use that. And she's finding that the last few times, obviously, the last few months, the uh, last couple months, I should say, was not getting great scent though. So this month, what she did with all of her cookie scents, and I will get it early next week, is she made them herself. She mixed all the oils in herself. So they're not the ones that were already made for that scent. You know, like I said, it's not like it was a pumpkin spice latte oil that came all mixed together. She hand did it herself. And she tested it, and she said that it really smelled good, so she wants, you know, honest feedback on it because she put as much oils as she could. Now, people who don't make tarts, and I've only made tarts for a short amount of time, so believe me, I'm no expert in the matter, but I do know that you can only put so much oil in wax. If you overdo it with the oil, the wax will burn the scent out no matter what. 
It sounds crazy, but it's true. I did it when I first started making tarts. I put way too much scent in. I'm thinking, oh, this can't make a difference. And then when I went to melt the tart, it smelled strong, but I got absolutely nothing from it. So she can, you can only put so much oil in tarts. So I'm guessing that either it's the wax or the manufacturer that you're placing, you're getting your oils from. That's a problem. It's either the wax just doesn't hold a good scent throw, or the oils that you're purchasing are not high-quality oils and they're not giving off a good scent throw. Those could be the only two possible issues. So she checked in with the manufacturer, and I know she was making them all by her, all by hand herself, the scents of the month for the cookies. Now, I will have them next week. I will do a cold sniff review because I'll see if they should smell a little more stronger, I would say than these ones here because I know once you let them cure, you must let them cure as well because they're soy. Any soy, you have to let them cure a week, two weeks, whatever. I let them cure for about a week or two. But with the other ones, I'll let them cure for a week because I want to try to stop melting them to let you know if they were fixed. But these ones here, have to soy has to be put in a low-watt warmer. 24-watt warmers are going to suck the scent right out. So, no. If you're using them in a 24-watt warmer, you're not going to get a good scent out of them. Soy wax must be used in a lower-watt warmer or a tea light warmer. So she is correcting it. She is aware of it. She's trying to fix it. She's sorry about the whole situation. If anybody's had any problems, the only thing that I can suggest you do, and this is what I do, I contact the owners of companies. If I'm having a problem with the product, I contact the owner directly. Now, I understand there's the occasional dud. Believe me, if I have a tart and it doesn't smell good, I'm not going to go and complain to the owner. But if I get one, two, I mean, if I get more than one dud, if I get two, three duds, I'm going to contact the owner and let them know. Believe me, I have contacted Wendy many of times when I get a dud. I'll let her know. This I'm not getting a scent out of. This one I don't care for. This one, and she'll let me know. Well, you know, and these are not, and not just the scent of the month. I mean, believe me, not just the scent of the month. Like I said, Toasty Ghosty, I contacted her about, and she said that that is a light scent, and she knows that. But it's a very popular one for her. So, you know, I, I believe me, I do speak up. I'm not the one to be like, oh, okay, well, my, you know, it didn't have a scent, no big deal. No, I spent money, and I did. I don't get these for free. I spent my own money to, to review these products for you because I'm a consultant. So she doesn't give me all these scents of the month for free. I purchased them all. So I want Centro out of them. Even if I got them for free, I want Centro out of them. Okay, as for the issue with the scent shots, her simmering melts, I've heard, and I had that problem, see, as well, where the bottoms just eat away. That is oil, and they're number two, and I remember Erin making sense saying something, the number two um, scent shot cups are not the greatest, but I have to tell you, if Wendy was to change, and she's always used these cups, and I know many companies do, and I know, and I know it's not just hers that does that. If they change the cups to a higher quality, the price is going to go up. So you have to look at, look at it this way. Do you, want your, do you want to get your tarts cheaper and you have to deal with this issue, which I'll tell you how to fix in a minute, or would you like to pay more money because they had to, per, you know, they had to go for a higher quality cup because you figure they have to make sure they're making the money off of their supplies as well. Like if they're going to spend a lot of money on the cups that they're putting their tarts in, they need to add that in as well. I only know all this because I was making tarts for a short amount of time, meaning I was looking into prices and I know that things can be pricey, even clamshells. The high quality ones, I know some supply places are charging a dollar something for one clamshell, for one. To, for, a, for a tart maker to purchase. So imagine you have to pay a dollar something for one clamshell, and then you have to get your wax and your oils and all that and your dyes. You're going to have to sell them for 5 or $6 to even make a good profit off of them. So a lot of people, yeah, they try to go the cheapest route so that you can get products cheaper. Now, if you're having trouble... As with any company, if you're having trouble with the tart cups, I mean, if they get this bad, you you know what I do? This is what happened. This came in my kit, and the whole thing just, they stuck together. Take a picture, and you email it to the owner. And I say, this is what happened. I can't even use it. It's stuck. You know, the plastic all stuck. And 
most of the time the owner will will send you new tarts. So, like I said, if you're having problems like this and you couldn't use your tart, take pictures and send them to the send them to. And I'm not just talking about Wendy. I'm talking about anybody. Send a picture. I do that all the time. If my candle isn't burning good, I take a picture and I send it to the owners. What you do is is if you find that your cups, like this one here, popped out pretty good. But if you're finding you have a hard time with your cups, well, I shouldn't say, you know, if they seem a little flimsy or anything like that, the oils kind of ate through them because that's what happens. Put it in your freezer for a little while and then pop it out, and they'll pop out just fine. It's just like if you were cleaning your tart warmer out and you stick it in your freezer. That's what you would have to do with these cups. Stick them in your freezer and they'll pop out if you find that they're a little too soft. Don't try to pull the wax out when they're that soft because that's what's going to happen is they're going to either just disintegrate as you're pulling it down or the bottoms are going to come off. So just pop it in your freezer for like five minutes and then take it right out and it should be no problem. So I wanted to address that issue with the cups. Now, I did want to let you know that I am having excellent, excellent scent throw out of this one, which I'm almost done with. This is Apple Crisp in her Woodwick Candle. And it does take a while. See, this side is already melted down all the way, and over here it's still working. I had this in one of my candle sleeves. And I let it go, and it will even off, and it doesn't bother me at all, because as long as it evens off, I'm fine. The scent flow is perfect. I have been melting this nonstop for weeks. This has lasted me a long time. In my family room, and it smells amazing. And the woodwick, clean as a whistle. I have not had to clean the edges or nothing. It's just been amazing. I love the woodwick candle. See? Nice and clean. So apple crisp a really good scent, at least in the woodwick. And I heard, Wind and Wendy has mentioned the woodwicks tend to give a little more of a stronger throw than the cotton wicks, and they're a dollar more. So, I'm having good luck with the, with the woodwick. As for scents that I know are pretty good, the sugared pumpkin I tried yesterday, it has a strong scent throw. I liked this. I highly recommend Changing Seasons. Oh, I don't know. If she, yeah, she has this. This wasn't a scent of the month. See, these aren't the scents of the month. This has amazing throw. I had used one cube in my family room, and it smelled awesome. And it lasted me all day and into the night. Oh, it's like apples and crisp air. It's really good. So that's a good one, Changing Seasons. Now, my favorite 5 o'clock somewhere I know it's a lighter scent in clamshell and in scent shot, and I have the clamshell right here. I love the scent. It's a lighter scent throw in the scent shot or the clamshells. I pop in one, and I use it in a smaller room. But the candle was strong for me. I, the, the candle scented up my whole open space in my kitchen. I loved it. I know Kirby has 5 o'clock somewhere, Vintage Chic 1927, so I'll have to find out from her how the throw was with her candle because the candle form was amazing. It's a softer scent in the clamshell wax or the scent shot wax, uh, softer. Pumpkin Walmart, Walmart, Pumpkin Walnut Biscotti. I have burned once, and I had a great scent throw out of this as well. And this was in my party light warmer. Caramel pralines, another strong scent. It was in my party light warmer, and I've already used it twice. Apple dumplings, I had no problem with this one at all. I've burned this two different times. It's a very strong, heavy cinnamon note in the apple, so that was a strong scent. Apple strudel, I had a good scent throw out of. I actually placed two in one of my warmers yesterday just to make my whole first floor smell good. And this one worked good. Low watt warmer, again, that one was in my Yankee warmer. This one I decided to pop in my 24 watt warmer in my office, a smaller room, the pumpkin cornbread muffin. And I used it in my son's bedroom and then in the office. My son's bedroom in a 14 watt and my office in a 24 watt. And I got a good scent throw out of this one as well. And this was the scent of the month. Apples and oak, which is an all year round one. 
I use this in my bedroom, which is, I believe, a 17 watt, and I got a great scento out of this one. I know that Jay Dazzle 15 did not get a strong scento, but I don't know if she used it in her 24 watt warmer. It, it, 24 watt warmers, you might get a strong scent. Sorry. You might get a strong scent for a few minutes, and then you and then it will fizzle off. It just depends on some of the scents. But I've never tried it in a 24 watt. I've had it in a low watt warmer. I would recommend a low watt warmer or a light bulb warmer. And this, I got a great scent for in my bedroom. It was strong, and it lasted, I know, over 24 hours in my low watt warmer. So I'm just going over some of the scents, and as you notice, most of them, for the most part, some are scents of the month, and most of them are just her regular scents. You know, they're not just the scents of the month. So what I'm trying to say is I have tried quite a bit of tarts. I've been playing around. I have thrown a lot out. I was going through a lot over here over the weekend and just tossing them. After a while, I'm like, I'm not getting a scent, though, so she is well aware of that. So what... She's working on it, and I will let you know. I'm still on the fence. Everybody knows this. I've not kept it a secret. Um, I'm not going to stick with a company that I don't believe in. When I first started trying out a product, the products were amazing. I had no problems with them. I had the occasional dud with one of those candles. I showed it in the video, and I was honest about it. And the reason why I'm saying this, too, is I, I just feel bad because... I don't, you know, I, I'm trying to give recommendations, and of course I'm not going to give a bad recommendation. The products that I was using were really good. And to each knows, you know, um, someone can recommend one thing, and, you know, five people can love it, and two people can hate it, or vice versa. Each knows is different. Let me know if you've had any problems. I want to know because I, I need to know. You know, I need to know what people think. And if you got... A lot of the scents of the month, like the pumpkin scents and the coffee scents and things like that, or the apple scents, and you just didn't get any throws out of them, you have to contact the owner and let Wendy know. Let her know. Because I'm telling her that people, just by watching videos, are not getting strong scents. Not many people are coming to me. I'm watching videos and hearing it, and so I'm going back to her telling her this stuff. But she needs to hear it from the people who are making the purchases because that's how she's going to know. She needs to know from you. If you're having trouble, you have to let her know. And don't be afraid to let the owner know that you are not getting a sense. Well, because if, if, the, if an owner of a company truly cares about the customers, then they want to hear it and they're going to listen. You will, have some, you will have some owners that are going to be a little snippy and not want to hear it and think their products are really good no matter what you say. But for the most part, good customer service, they'll listen. And they'll try their best. And if they can't fix it, they can't fix it, and you don't purchase anymore. So that's what this whole video is about. Just wanted to let you know that she is working on them. I will let you know 100% in, within two weeks if this company I'm staying with or not. And I know that um, there's someone here on YouTube that became an online consultant, and she's under me. And I still support her. But she does know that I'm on the fence. I would never say I'm not on the fence. I told her that I'm on the fence. I'm staying with her, staying with Granny's Country Candles right now because Wendy is working on the problem. So I'm going to wait and see if they're worked on. Because I'm not giving up yet because when I first started trying these products, they were absolutely amazing. Her candles were really strong. It seems like for me, those scents of the month is what's not having any sense out. So again... Please let me know if you're having this issue. Is it the sense of the month? Is it all of your, you know, all of the scents that you purchased, even the ones that are on her regular line? Just share. And don't be afraid to comment about it because, you know, you have a right to your opinion. You have a right to voice your opinion. You have a right to say, listen, I placed $25 or $30 worth of product and I'm not getting any scent out of it. I need to know. Wendy needs to know. Okay. So hopefully I made sense. I tried my best. I know it's really hard when you're making these type of videos because you're not really sure exactly what to say, but I'm trying to put that out there that, of course, with any company you're going to get some duds. You're going to get some ones that don't smell as strong to you, but it shouldn't be every scent that you purchase. You know what I mean? There should be some stronger scent, scents that you love. Plus, if you purchase all the scents of the month and they don't have any scents, 
there's a problem. And let me know if you made a video on any of the scents that you melted, any hauls from grannies or anything like that, because I'll go check them out, because I don't know. I'm trying to look up the search and search under grannies, country candles, but I, I'm sure I'm not getting all of them. So please help me out, because I want to help everybody out here. And I wanted to let everybody know that I do know what's going on and I have been in constant contact with Wendy and I myself have said stuff because it is not just you, it's me. And like I said, I don't get these for free. She does. I let you know if she sends me something. But I purchase a lot of these products myself from, from Wendy. She might send me something here and there. Like the scents that she sent me now, the scents of the month for this month, she, did, she is sending them to me and I'm not paying for them because... So I'm ranting and raving and all this stuff here, but I'm not mad at Wendy because she's really trying, and I don't think it's her fault. I think it's the manufacturer's fault that she's placing, you know, the order from for the oils. So like I said, she is hand doing them herself. She's mixing the pumpkin. Like, say it was frosted pumpkin cookie. She's mixing the pumpkin oil with the cookies oils and things like that. That's how she's doing it. So if this batch doesn't work, then there's nothing else she can do. And then I'm out. If they work, I'm in. So hopefully I helped some of you out there that had questions that didn't understand what was going on with grannies. And again, you have to let them cure for a week because the scents will come out stronger. With any soy wax, you have to let them cure. And then you're going to notice the scents smell different in a week. Like when you first open them up, they're not going to have the true scent until another week, maybe even two weeks. So hopefully I get some feedback on this video, and thank you so much for watching. Thanks for listening to me go on and on and on and on and on. But I wanted to make sure that I got as much information as I possibly could out there to you. I am going to try Autumn Bounty. It's one of her um, candles, her 16-ounce candle, and it's in her regular scent line. It's not a scent of the month. So I'm going to try that one next and see how it smells and how what the scent well. Not to see how it smells, but see how the scent throw is. And then, of course, I will let everybody know what I thought of that when I do my next video on grannies. So thank you so much, everybody, for watching. And please, again, comment, message me, let me know. Put down that you've made a video, and I will click on it, and I'll watch. Have a great Sunday, everyone. I'm going to watch the Pats game today, so I'm getting ready for the game. Bye.